Tweak your tits and butter your balls. It's the top five wackest moments in movie history. Brought to you by WatchMojo.com. We here at WatchMojo.com are in full support of the Black Lives Matter movement and are currently in the process of compiling a list of top 10 protest movies you can watch while staying safely inside. Ever since some guy invented the telephone, people have been ringing up their buddies being like, yo, you see that thing on the news? That ship was whack, with the appropriated term itself denoting surprise, contemptibility, or being just plain bad. With that in mind, we here at Mojo HQ have computized the sacrificial intern and fed the digitized offering into our self-learning algorithmic machine, Algo. And Algo has probed the annals of cinema for the most far out, nah man, whacked out moments in movie history. So what do you say, Heath Ledger's Joker? Here we go. Number five, Billy Bob Thornton in Sling Blade. Harvey Weinstein, fat-ass sex offender and director of box office bomb playing for keeps, paid a whopping 10 million bucks for this 1996 snooze fest after only watching 30 minutes of the film. Perhaps Harvey saw something of himself in Billy Boy's slack-jaw blockhead with the pension for taters. Or maybe he had to leave early because he was late for a date to rape someone. Number 4. Luke Skywalker kissing his own sister in the Star Wars movies. Wait, Luke kissed his own sister? That's super fucked up. After being unsuccessfully assassinated by a member of the Christian Rite, Frogface director George Lucas explained away the incident, saying that Leia was never really into Luke and only kissed him to make cool guy Han Solo horny with jealousy. Still though, kinda whack. Number 3. Jared Leto. Whether you're laughing at him for doing drugs wrong or for missing out on COVID because he was busy with his Hollister cult, the fact remains, Jared has proven time and time again he isn't afraid to go the extra mile to make absolutely no lasting impression. Tragic. Tragic. Number two, the scene in Seven where the cop looks in the star of Pedophile's mouth and you realize he's still alive. No one actually knows who wrote this scene. An addendum to the script was found beside filmmaker David Fincher's bed during pre-production, with the filmmaker himself quoted as saying, if I ever find out who did write that creepy ass scene, they're going straight to jail. And number one, we're going all the way back to the beginning of cinema with this one in the 1896 short film, The Arrival of a Train. A film so whack, it sent audiences of the time fleeing the cinemas. In his new show, Secrets of Cinema, British cineast and skiffle bassist Mark Kermode actually tried journeying back through time to see what all the fuss was about. But he was damaged so physically and mentally by the process that his findings are pretty much impossible to read. Ouch. Nice try, Mark. Thanks for watching. If you can think of any whack things we've missed, why not scribble that shit on a napkin and shove it straight up your ass?